Good evening. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Smuggling of valuable antiques in Malatya. Armenian Catholic priest and his father shot dead by terrorists in Syria. Pope Francis expressed his support to the Armenian community of Komishli. 46 families have already returned to Talish. Turkish government works on resettlement from Central Asia to Kilikia and Syria. A large number of items of historical value metal objects were discovered and confiscated during operation in Malatya, Western Armenia. In recent days, the Malatya Provincial Security Department has carried out two separate operations that have resulted in the arrest and detention of the suspect of smuggling antiques. As a result of operation, a total of 683 pieces of historical items, coins, earrings, rings and similar metal objects were seized. Pastor of the Armenian Catholic community of Gomishli, Pryas Tovsep Badoyan and his father Abraham Badoyan were traveling in a vehicle en route to their Azor when terrorists opened a gunfire to their car and killed them on November 11. According to Gonzasar, the Armenian Catholic priest and his father were heading to inspect the condition of the Catholic Church. The pastor's father died instantly in the attack. Deacon Fatih Seno of the al Hasake Church, who was a passenger in a vehicle, was wounded. Pope Francis expressed solidarity and support to the Armenians in Syria Gomishli over the murder of the father of Zeb Badoyan, the pastor of the Armenian community of Gomishli, and Abraham Badoyan, the pastor's father. After the restoration of Tadish, 46 families have already returned to their native village and another five families are in the process of returning. This information was published on Facebook page by advisor to the President of the Republic of Artsakh, the Grand Abrahamian. The Turkish government and the Migration Service are working together to colonize a 5-kilometer-wide strip between the occupied Ras Al Ain and Tal Abyad with the families of the SNA militiamen. Just a few weeks after the occupation of Ras Al Ain and Tal Abyad, the Turkification of the region began. According to information, the Directorate General of Turkish Migration has begun to prepare the resettlement of families from the Turk states in Central Asia to the two northern Syrian cities. According to current information, the MI is meeting with families who have migrated to Turkey from so-called Turkish states in order to convince them to resettle. First, the families of Turkish-backed militias gathered under the name of the Syrian National Army are selected for settlement. To resettle them in the region, they receive every possible support. The families are meant to be settled on a 5-kilometer-wide Turkish belt, which will initially extend from Ras Al Ain. Syrian refugees will be accommodated in different inland of the country. Erdogan has made his intentions clear. We are not leaving. He made it clear with a reference to the Adana Agreement. We will not withdraw unless the other countries have withdrawn. We have a document like Adana Agreement reminder. We have a document like the Adana Agreement. We will continue our position here with the authority that the Adana Agreement gives us. A staff member of the Center of Temporary Accommodation of Protection Seekers told ANF that MIT was already allocating addresses to Syrian refugees in the occupied territories. Now let us represent to your attention a song by Hazar. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.